We have previously seen this area calculation but using a dx integral. In this video, we're doing everything with a dy integral. We have here an exponential function, a horizontal line y equals 2, your vertical y-axis, which is x equals 0. What is this shaded region? You know when you're doing an integral with respect to dy, limits upper and lower along the y-axis, right boundary curve minus left boundary curve with respect to dy. What are my limits? Look right here. The exponential intercepts the y-axis at 0, 1. I have a y, y equals 2. This right will be a 0, 2. My limits are easy. It will be 1 to 2. What's my right boundary function? It's this exponential. If y is equal to e to the x, you have to write it in terms of x. x here is equal to natural log y. That's my right boundary function. What's my left boundary function? Your y-axis, x equals 0. You don't even have to write it. This right here is the extent of our integral. What is the antiderivative here? It'll be y natural log y minus y, upper limit 2, lower limit 1. I'm going to put 2. I'll put 1 in places y and do the difference. I will have 2 natural log 2 minus 2 minus 1 natural log 1 minus 1. This right here is 0 is out. Natural log 1 is 0. It goes away. What remains is this. 2 natural log 2 minus 2 plus 1. Your end result for that area is 2 natural log 2 minus 1. It is exactly what we saw in the previous video. Here I have the exact same result. 2 natural log 2 minus 1 using here this a dy integral setup.